When interested in analyzing through simulation the effects of cooling on a part or the efficiency of cooling channels, it is important to model the channels correctly to best represent the actual cut steel within a mold. Doing this, however, is not always easy due to channel complexity and the drawings or CAD models they are based upon. Further, modeling channels in 3D is not always needed when reviewing traditional drilled channels within simulation, as beam elements can quickly and more accurately calculate coolant flow. Autodesk Moldflow Insight's ability to import and convert channels from 3D tubes to centerline curves in a matter of seconds minimizes delays caused by the analyst needing to redraw cooling systems. After importing the 3D CAD geometry of a mold's cooling channels into Moldflow, unless there is a need or a desire to run a finite element cooling method or FEM cool analysis, the channels must be converted into beam or 1D elements in order to run. This simplifies calculations and provides accurate representations of the drill channels. The property assignment of Channels 3D must be specified for any of the channels being converted. Hiding or showing layers within the study separates channels that need converted from those that don't. To convert geometry, simply navigate to the Geometry tab, then select Curves, where the centerline extraction tool lives. Notice how once applied, Synergy takes only seconds to make the conversion, then displays the newly formed curves with nodes at all intersections. The analyst can now modify, add, or remove sections using the geometry tools if needed. In this example, in order to achieve more uniform cooling, we'll add a center baffle to the core. A simple method to draw baffles and bubblers in Moldflow Insight is to rely on the property assignment, drawing a single curve to represent both the up and down segments, and then assigning the appropriate property enables the solver to interpret these correctly. The channels can then be meshed, and the analyst can add all of the channel inlets and outlets so the solvers know which direction coolant flows. Once any remaining items within the study are completed, the analyst can then launch the analysis and the results can be interpreted. With the time and effort saved from having to model these channels within Moldflow or extracting them from a model within a CAD program, the centerline extraction tool and simplified baffle and bubbler modeling method help analysts get to the data rather than struggling through the setup.